ladies and gentlemen, to Fan Appreciation Month here on Reaction and Review. Yes, guys, we're doing another Fan Appreciation Month. Now, for those of you who are new to, to this channel, what that means is, well, um, the short version is I've gotten a ton of stuff off of the Amazon wish list, and I really want to try to get to I really want to try to get through a lot of it in order to kind of clear up to clear up some space. So I'm dedicating an entire month to stuff you guys have sent in. Now, not only that, but I can at least guarantee that the second half of this month not only is going to be covering stuff that you guys have sent in, but it's also going to be taking care of stuff you guys have been demanding for a long time. So, if you guys can wait through these first four, where, where I'm going through stuff I kind of want to get through, or in, or in some cases, ones I actually want to watch, you guys are going to be treated to some classic stuff. Stuff you guys have wanted me to see for a long time, but you guys can tell I'm kind of sort of delaying this. Why? Because the first thing I dug out of the pile was something that's been in my uh, possession here for a long time. You see, uh, tonight... Get to do something I've dreaded doing for a long time. You see, I get to go back to Brazil. What does that mean? Well, there's a studio over there. It wants to knock off Pixar as much as they can. I refuse to call them by their real name. I prefer to call them Brixar because they obviously want to be a Brazilian knockoff of Pixar. And um, someone sent in a DVD here that has first three entries in their version of Cars. The series is called The Little Cars. The disc is called The Crazy for Cars Collection, which is the first three Little Cars episodes, let's call I will get to that in a moment. As well as some extra, like, 40-minute thing about going under the hood and knowing about the inner workings of cars. I don't give a shit about the inner workings of cars. Now, why am I covering all three of these? Because the runtime on the second and third ones are only 44 minutes long, First one runs 33 minutes. If you put the runtime of all three of these fucking things together, you have roughly the length of a goddamn movie. So I'm just going to say fuck it, going to cover all three of them, and hopefully I'll still be sane by the time this shit's done. But if but if my trips through Gladiformers and through and through Ratatouille are any indication, this is going to hurt, especially since Little Cars was their first foray into film. And the first in the first entry is called The Little Cars in the Great Race. Came out in 2006. Yeah, just in time to cash in on the Pixar film. The Pixar film I have yet to see. I dread what the fuck's gonna happen here. Thankfully, this one's the shortest out of all three at only 33 minutes. So hopefully my suffering will be at least short-lived. So, without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out Little Cars in the Great Race. So, in the world of the little cars, fun is only for tricycles. The fuck does that even mean? Jesus, fuck. God, this, thing's, this thing just started and I'm, I'm already completely lost. God oh, no. damn it. Guys, I just want to ask this right now. Is it normal for something to be so bad that it physically fucking hurts? I'm really asking, because this thing is just starting to make me really hurt a little bit. In fact, it's starting to make me feel just, just a little bit sick. I just wanted to share that. God damn it. I hate everything about this, guys. I hate the horrible acting. I hate, I hate the shitty dialogue. I hate the fact that the son of a bitch doesn't have any form of a plot. The only thing that makes this worse is that I still have two more, episodes, two more movies of this shit to get through before I get a chance to actually review it. Yay. Thank the good holy gods above. That was fucking done. Alright guys, good news is... First one's done. Bad news is... I have to do the next one now. Yeah. Second one. Came out 2007. 
Yay! They had to strike when the iron was still warm. Not even close to hot, no. Fuck that. There's no hot iron involved in this shit. Second one is called Little Cars 2 Rhodopolis Adventures. Just want to say this before I even get into it. Oh, and by the way, no, I'm not going to be reviewing the shit till I'm done with all three. Just I'm going to do what I did with Boku no Pico, just save my misery until the end. I kind of find it funny that the second one is called Rudopolis Adventures when uh, they renamed the city in the first one to Raceopolis. Don't know why they wouldn't have fixed that with the sequel, but then again, I think that would have actually taken effort, and effort is something which uh, obviously the people over at Bricks are absolutely incapable of fucking doing, or at least the companies that dub over their bullshit in English are just incapable of doing. I don't care. I'm going to just dive right into this one. Yeah, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out Little Cars 2 Rodopolis Adventures. So, between the first one and this one, Cruz's name has been changed to Tony. Why? Okay, I'm seeing the mobile logo in the background, as in the logo for mobile gas stations. There is no fucking way mobile would put their names on something this shitty. I'm almost convinced that they were just stealing logos and just slapping them, just like slapping them in the background, and I wouldn't be in any way surprised if that was actually the fucking case. I just want to make this point abundantly clear, guys. There is going to come a day when I'm going to have the money to go to Brazil. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the studio, as I'm going to find the headquarters of the studio that made this motherfucking thing. I'm going to burn the cocksucker to the fucking ground! Alright, second one's done. They couldn't even be asked to translate the end credits into English. Somehow I'm not really surprised. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Come on, speed it up. Yeah, guys, number three also came out in 2007. The title of that one is Little Cars 3 Fast and Curious. Why? Why must the title be so fucking stupid? Stupid. And the only thing it can do is just tell me how horrible the next one is going to fucking be. But the only way to find out is for me to fucking watch it. So without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out Little Cars 3 Fast and Curious. Hello, guys. Only the little cars could take something as absolutely mind numbingly dull as drift racing and make it worse. Jesus. Fuck. Okay, I really need to ask. At what point are any of these fucking stories gonna have anything that could even be, that, e that could even be remotely considered closure? Because these, because these last two movies are being done in like, stories, and they're being promoted on the back of the fucking thing here as episodes. These stories, don't, these stories don't have any fucking closure. They just end. God damn it. That is just so goddamn lazy. But I'll get to talk about that when this fucking thing's done. Oh, I can't wait. So, in the world of Raceopolis, we have what are essentially the automotive equivalent of snake oil salesmen who will sell idiotic bullshit that claims to cure all problems. And we have a main character who's stupid enough to buy from them. Yay! I haven't seen writing this fucking lazy since I, since, well, ever. God damn it. I can't wait till this shit's done. I really fucking can't. Oh, thank the god bots, it's fucking done! Oh. And just like with Little Cars 2, the end credits are still in Portuguese. Cute. Alright. Shut up. Fuck you. I'm gonna look at the fucking credits. I don't care. Alright. 
Time to review this shit. Time to review the first three entries in the Little Cars series. You might notice I'm saying first three entries. There are at least six, possibly seven different entries in the Little Cars series, and I have a feeling that all of them are going to be as shitty as the three I just fucking watched. But first, why don't we, uh, why don't we run this down, shall we? Let's uh, start with the animation. Because I love to talk about Brixar's god-awful animation. Um, this is by far their worst. I mean, I could understand the look of the little cars being shit, because that was their first outing. It was. It, that was their first feature-length, well, barely feature-length animated outing. Alright, so I can understand that one looking really shitty, okay? But by the time they got to Little Cars 2 and 3, that was around the same time that they put out Gladiformers and that they put out Ratatouille. Now, Gladiformers, I mentioned, looked great, except the, except the animation didn't give any of the robots any sort of weight. But everything still looked cool, at least that was something, and at least... At least, Ratatouille, no matter how ugly it might have been, still looked better than this shit. I mean, good God, guys, um, anyone who's taken a basic class in computer animation, I'm almost entirely convinced, could probably remake Little Cars, make it look 50 times better after, like, three classes. That's with almost no training. I, I, I wouldn't totally know, because I know dick about CG. Um, but I'm going to assume if you were to give hell, guys, you, you could probably make this fucking thing look better in Flash, okay? I'm not even fucking lying. This looks awful. The models look like shit, the color scheme looks awful, the backgrounds look plain, and during every race, the audience is just a picture of cars resting on bleachers, just pasted on pasted on this giant box that is how the audience is done looks like shit and if you don't believe me you can probably find these damn things on fucking youtube go right ahead and watch them you'll see exactly what i'm talking about animation is by far some of the worst i have ever seen from any animated outing and that's saying a lot guys because i've seen some real shitty animation but this thing just blows away all of that just in terms of how bad it looks. Now let's talk about acting. First of all, I need to mention that between Little Cars 1 and Little Cars 2 and 3, uh, they got a whole new voice cast, and every and almost every character was given a brand new name. The only characters who weren't given new names were Wrangler, who was the villain in the first one, starts popping up in the, you know, Little Cars 3 for whatever fucked up reason. And, uh, Mr. V8. Mr. V8 gets to keep his name as well. Oh, and Champ gets to keep his name too. So that's three characters out of a possible, what, six? So they change the name of half the cast, but it's the half that gets the most screen time. Why they opted to change the names, I do not know. The only thing I, I can assume is that they wanted to keep the names closer to what they were in the in the original Portuguese, but that is sort of pointless when you consider the fact that they were changed in the first place. Why the fuck couldn't you just keep the names? And the acting from the first one to the two the sequels got worse. At least the acting in the first one, the actors in that thing were trying. Granted, they were barely trying, and they phoned in everything. But once they went to the four kids cast, uh, which, yeah, every actor in Little Cars 2 and 3 are all uh, well-known actors from all of the various, like, four kids animated projects. Apparently, when whenever they're asked to work on Brixar films, they are told that... Periods and commas do not exist, so you don't pause in the middle of your sentences. You don't even pause between sentences. You just say it as if it's one big motherfucking run-on. And number two, they are probably threatened, threatened with death if they do so much as even attempt to emote. Because everybody reads off their, their lines as lifelessly as they possibly can. So there's nothing there in terms of acting. I mean, and... I know that I know that these actors can do better. I've heard them do better. The very fact that every single time that they do something from this 
fucking studio and they always have to phone it in. It's always lifeless and that there's no punctuation, that there's no fucking emotion. It tells me that there's probably some kind of like threats whenever they have to work on these things, which makes me wonder why the fuck they keep working on them. <sighs> writing. Yay, the writing. Well, writing sucks, all right? The first one is a 33-minute story about a goddamned race. Oh, speaking of the race, I, I should have mentioned this also when it comes to the animation. Similar to how Gladiformers had no sense of weight on any of these massive robots, Little Cars fails to get any sort of feel of speed. That's probably because the backgrounds are always scrolling by so fucking slow that it just kind of looks like everybody's driving at about 10 miles an hour. Instead of, you know, driving at the, like, 50, 60, 70 miles an hour low end, which you'd be driving if you were racing. Mind you, I'm saying low end because it all sort of depends on the class and the engine and all this other stupid bullshit that, you know, that normal, that, that normal people like me with a functional brain who can't stand, who can't stand, like, auto racing... You know, we get. I don't. I don't really give a shit about any of that. But God damn it, the cars are supposed to look fast. I think that's part of the thing when you're doing a show about race cars, is you want them to look fast. Okay, you really do. You can't have that when your backgrounds and your road are scrolling by so goddamn slow that it just kind of looks like everybody's just sort of you know like cruising along on neutral. But again, that just sort of goes back in, goes back into animation. I wanted to mention that. Now, the first little cars is just is just about a fucking race. Whoopee! Nobody cares. Two and three, on the other hand, apparently are where they wanted to try to turn this into a series, not just a series of films, but a series of like short episodes, because each one's made up of about three or it's made up of about three or four episodes. There is almost no separation between them. The only time that you know that you're getting into a new story is when the picture fades out, it fades in, and they have no fucking reference to what just happened. And that is so disjointed, it's not even funny. It's like, it would have been nice if there was, like, I don't know, let's say maybe, like, some sort of on-screen text giving us the name of the new episode. Instead of us having to read the uh, episode names on the back of this thing and just sort of trying to figure out when in the fuck the episode breaks are... However, if you genuinely care about the episode breaks to this thing because you feel so goddamned, e since you feel so invested in these shallow characters and this god-awful fucking writing, I feel really sorry for you. Now, going back to writing, and, or, I, or I should say continuing with the writing, the stories do not have any kind of closure, as, as I have stated. They just sort of end, all right? Example, the last one, which, uh, the last, or the last segment of Little Cars 3, which has this really shitty anti-drug message, um, it just ends. It's just, you know, Wrangler, Wrangler is caught selling, selling drugs, basically, and then he's hauled off to jail at the end. It happens just like that. It happens within, like, 30 seconds. It's really cheap, really shitty, really fucking stupid. There is no closure to any of these. Now... Can I recommend Little Cars? Hell no. I wouldn't even recommend this if you have kids who are into cars, if you have kids who liked cars. If your kids liked cars, you already have two fucking movies you, you can watch. You don't need this to pad that out any further. This thing is a waste of money. This thing is a waste of time. There is no story. There is no. There is nothing even close to a plot. The, the, the acting flat out sucks. Animation is complete shit. Kids would probably be offended to watch this. That's how bad it is. Now, the Little Cars trilogy here came off the Amazon wish list. Now, the person who sent it in didn't want their name as the shout-out. Instead, they wanted a different YouTube channel. Apparently, it's a part of like a group effort, and that the person who bought this is part of that channel. The channel is called The Pyromancers. I'm going to post a link to, to their channel in this video's de description. By all means, you guys, go over there, check them out, and uh, I really wish I, I could remember exactly which one of them sent this, but thank you. Because um, now I have another reason to despise Brixar and everything they fucking work on. I don't think I'm going to go back to that fucking well, because that is my third, fourth, and fifth Tra tries at getting anything good out of fucking bricks are there ain't no way anything good is coming from that fucking shithole and as i stated earlier now i have a reason that if i ever get the money to go spend a month 
or even just a few days over in fucking Brazil. I'm going to look for that studio and I'm going to burn it to the fucking ground just so that way we don't get any more of this kind of bullshit polluting our, polluting the world. Because god damn it, how the fuck can a studio make shit that's this bad and then, and then sell it and expect assholes to buy it? Jesus Christ. Well, folks, I need to go do something. I don't care what. I don't care if I have to punch a hole in the fucking wall. I don't care if I have to go for a nice long walk. I don't care if I have to get doped up on pills and sleep for 10 hours. I just need to do something. I need to do something to wash the horrible taste of this god-awful thing out of my fucking mouth. Yay, guys. Think about this for just a sec. We're kicking off another Fan Appreciation Month I think I picked probably the worst one out of out of the eight I picked to start us off. Frankly, it can only go uphill from here. <sighs> so, guys, with that, we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.